What if when these four logos were created, the designer decided to use Comic Sans font? Well today, we're going to answer that question and give all of these logos a Comic Sans redesign. If you're new here, I'm Tyler aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. Also if you notice I'm in a different setting today, that's because I'm actually home for my brother's wedding and I'm in my grandma's studio. So today we're going to be redesigning four logos in Comic Sans font. The Folgers logo, Spongebob, Lays, and Cartoon Network. For some reason, Comic Sans font has become one of the most hated fonts, if not the most hated font in the world. If you have any idea why that might be, let me know down in the comments. I think since a lot of these logos are kind of already in a playful setting, that the Comic Sans font actually does work for some of these, but you'll have to see and find out. Up first, I did Folgers Coffee. I decided to do this one to kind of commemorate my two best friends, Evan and Bree, who just had a baby. Their last names are Folgers, so congratulations, Evan and Bree. Okay, so to start, I did this one in Photoshop, and I started by picking up that red color and painting over all the letters. I made sure to make a copy of the original logo so that I could go back and reference it. I do this with all four of these. Once I was happy with the blank logo, I typed out Folgers in Comic Sans bold font, and I sized it to fit the space. Next, I played around with the bevel and emboss settings to add that gold inner bevel. It took a bit to figure out exactly how they have it in the original, but eventually I landed on the right settings. Then I added a drop shadow, again mimicking that original logo, and lastly added in Since 1850 in Comic Sans, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one doesn't look too bad in Comic Sans, but I really do think I like the original one better. Let me know what you think in the comments. Next I did Spongebob, and this one is already a really playful font, so I didn't anticipate this one looking too different. I started by erasing the word Spongebob and going over square pants in that same blue to get my blank logo. Then I typed out Spongebob in yellow and gave it that same blue stroke as the original. Then I typed on square pants, and what I didn't realize is that some of the letters were capitalized and some weren't, so I had to play around with the sizing and placement a lot here. Honestly, this one would have been way easier in Adobe Illustrator, but I didn't feel like loading it because it takes forever on my computer. Once I was done with all that, here is the final result. I actually think this one looks almost identical to the real one if you didn't have the real one to look at next to it. It's just a little less angular, but it still looks very similar. Next I did Lays. In order to get this down to a blank canvas, I actually used the Spot Healing Brush tool. And this can be used to get rid of like blemishes or unwanted objects in a photo. But in this case, I played around with it until all the letters were gone. I also ended up using the smudge tool and the pen tool to clean up some of the edges that got distorted. Then I just typed out Lays in Comic Sans, making the L a little bit bigger than the rest to match the real logo. I used the skew transform tool to make it look like it was in italics, and then I added a red drop shadow to match. And here is the final result. I actually think the playfulness of this one might work even a little bit better than the original logo. Last I did Cartoon Network, which was pretty simple. I made a black and white box using the shape tool and replaced all the letters with Comic Sans. And here's the final result. Again with this one, I actually don't think it looks too bad considering it is a cartoon channel. And fun fact, Comic Sans was actually created to look like the font in a comic book. So using it for Cartoon Network would make sense here. Well, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know which of these Comic Sans redesigns was your favorite from today. 